So this is going to be study course number two. Jessica is safely back at her residence hall getting ready for her date with Sparty. And I am heading into the great library. So it's time to leave. I'm not gonna tell you how much work I got done because it's kind of embarrassing. Alice called and she got off work early. We're gonna go to Meyer, get some more shopping done. And of course, I'd rather shop than study. But on my way out, I'm gonna stop and say hi to a friend. Maybe she'll wanna say hi to you. Let's check it out. You can take my picture. No, you're, you're on the vlog. Um, oh, the video? Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Sarah. Hi. Hi, world. Uh, video audience. <laughs> <laughs> She's a librarian. It sounds like an easy job, but it is definitely not, especially not at a major research university. Yes, Michelle is right about that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say my name. They know my name. <laughs> You're yeah. very smart to be using your laptop. Last time yeah. I was here, I was showing Sarah a really cool website, and then her computer crashed. Yes, I got the blue screen of death after you were trying to show me how to use, uh, what was it called again? Emaze. Emaze, yes. Emaze crashed both of my computer screens. Both? Yeah, but, well, there, I have two monitors. Oh. I got the dual blue screen of death, so it was a nice effect. Yeah, well, I did <laughs> discover that Emaze, which I think is really cool and better than Prezi, mm -hmm. has a charge, even for students. Oh. Okay. You can do some of it for free. But not all of it. But not all of it. So that's not good. And now I discovered that there's the, this really cool survey stuff that I want to do that's better than SurveyMonkey. Mm -hmm. Except to get it for free as a student, you have to like do all these steps, including vlog about it. So in my next vlog, oh. I'm going to be talking all about okay. it. Okay. Well, I will want to hear about it then because I'm actually just doing a survey right now so it's called yeah. so go survey so that little meeting with sarah actually led to an unexpected little sidewalk about so go survey which i really want and i don't want you all to have to watch the entire vlog if you're not interested but i am going to post that vlog separately um it's going to be a couple minutes long you do not have to watch it if you're not a student because it may not be of interest to you but um don't be surprised that it is also posted here as um on on this page as something that might interest you it's all about how to develop great surveys and if you want just try their free software but we're moving on to our next thing which is meeting up with Alice at Meyer. Yay! I think our community misses you. Huh? I think everybody misses you. <laughs> they haven't seen you in a couple days. Hello. Say hi. Do I something. Hello. I'm tired. I walked 10,000 steps today. Seems like I'm always talking about how many steps I'm taking. That and That's food. That's because of my, my uh, Fitbit. That and food. Okay, I think I found something over here. What do we, oh, we can't talk about what we're looking no, for. We can't. It's a surprise for some people and we're gonna see them next week so we can't look at it. Bye. I'm going to get my hair cut and my hair colored. See this darkness? The only thing about having short hair is you have to get it cut often because a short haircut looks the best when it's short. See, when you have hair that's like <laughs> that's what medium length or long, if it grows, it, do, it doesn't you look that bad. You just put it up bad. like me. Yeah, you just put it up like Michelle. But anyway, here we go. I'll let you see what it's like after the fact. Yes. Such a cute little setup for a shop. Be thankful for what you are now and keep fighting for what you want to be tomorrow. The best looking Alice ever. Ah, you're vlogging me. <laughs> I was like real relaxed there. Well, you can be relaxed. <laughs> Wait, Alice with a mohawk. There we go. That's the new style, definitely.
Look at her smile yeah, comes out. It feels good. Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> Look at Alice. Okay. Do Aww. it a little here. Yeah, please. Aww. Let her spray. She wants to go home. <laughs> no, you're okay. <laughs> You've been here all day, I'm sure. Alice, the little baby Ellen is back. <laughs> Sun in my eyes. I'm like my daughter. I don't have my son. I say the same thing um, sometimes. So, <laughs> oh, so forget oh, the so. So, so. Um, got the new hey, do we're going. We're going out to eat, and we are from Chicago, but we're in Michigan, and we're going to a restaurant called Old Chicago. Hmm. Hmm. Let's find out why they're called Old Chicago. I hope they're trying not to like duplicate Chicago-style pizza or something, because <laughs> we've already discovered they can't. We, do that. Nobody can do that. Okay, you won't know what um, Old Chicago was like because we're leaving. Um, but they, it's not that it's bad. No, they were busy. There was a wait, and it's more like a pizza place, and we're not really in the mood for pizza. And we think so, Jesse will love Old it. Old Chicago, we'll see you another time. Now we're at Buddy's. <laughs> Buddy's Pub and Grill. And I know that I'm having a corned beef sandwich. Uh, Reuben, actually, because at work today, they make corned beef and cabbage with potatoes and carrots, and I put myself down for an order of it because we can do that and pay for our meal. And after everybody got served, the residence where I work, um, the chef came out and told me we have cabbage left and potatoes and carrots. But we're out of corned beef. <laughs> okay, Alice, I'm going to ask you five questions really fast. You got to answer them. Ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite day of the week? Saturday. What is your favorite television show? Fast. What is your favorite time of the day? When I'm going to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> what is your, um, I need to know these faster. Um, what was your favorite age? What was my favorite age? 21. And number five, who is your favorite singer? Adam Lambert and Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> favorite state? My favorite state in the United States is wherever you're living. Oh, or wherever you are. Oh! My Reuben. I got mushrooms. We, we did go healthy with the salad. Not sure how healthy that is. We got fried mushrooms. <laughs> we got a patty melt on very dark rye. Food vlog. Yummy. Yum. Hi. That's the other thing. We're going in a bookstore. So we kind of got to be quiet, but not as quiet as I was at the library. We're looking for um, diet books. Yes, we just ate. Now we're looking at diet books. <laughs> Elimination diet. So Alice and I have this thought that we're going to figure out what makes us tick. Like what causes my inflammation, what causes her some distress in her body. And we're going to go on an elimination diet. So we're going to look at some books. If any of you have ever been on an elimination diet, let us know what you think. What diets work, what don't. What we chose. The elimination diet personal approach to determining your food allergies. And when, when are we starting this? We're going to read this book in the next week and we're starting it Monday the 22nd. Because we are going to be away with our friends. Oh, it's a book for me. Nerd Girls. That's you. That's me. Was that not a perfect example of me and my ADHD? I was sitting here telling you a story about how we're about to be away with all of our friends and so we're not starting our diet right away for our elimination diet. And then I saw that book and I totally changed subjects. Totally me. Okay, bye.